Healthy election procedures are critical to the integrity of any not-for-profit organization. This two-part video series will help clarify Ontario soil and crops' approach to electing its respective board members. Each local or regional division of Ontario soil and crop can adjust their procedure to meet their general needs, but the approach showcased in these videos should inform their unique processes. First off, an election is not just about the night of. There is a role for the organization to play ahead of time. To ensure the organization is prepared for an election, we highly recommend forming a nominating committee. This temporary standing committee is sometimes also called the election committee, as its sole purpose is to ensure the fair election of new board members and officers. These standing committee members are typically elected at the annual meeting, Otherwise, they are named by the board with the release of the local AGM minutes. Depending on your organization's constitution, the past president may assume the role of the elections committee chair. If your organization chooses not to have a nominating committee, then it becomes the role of the board of directors to find new potential candidates to fill vacant positions. If possible though, we highly recommend forming an elections committee annually. The role of the committee is to be aware of who is coming off the board, who wants to come off the board, and who is going to replace them. Also, based on your organization's constitution, board members are typically given staggered terms to prevent all board positions becoming vacant at once. This ensures there will always be experienced, knowledgeable directors around the table, along with new directors who can bring fresh ideas. Once the standing committee has assessed their board and community's situation, its job is to present the organization with a list of candidates for all the vacant board member and officer positions. We call this the nominating committee's report, and it needs to be completed prior to election day. On election day, the committee chair will direct the procedure and several committee members will be selected to act as scrutineers. It is the responsibility of all committee members to remain neutral and unbiased throughout the entire elections procedure. Please watch video two to learn step-by-step step how the election process is executed.